want to activate two-factor authentication code like this that changes every 30 seconds to secure your account or a Google prompt to log in with your mobile phone. Hi, welcome to Tech Guide AI, a channel for tutorial and tricks. So today, knowing someone's username and password, that is email and a password has got a lot more easier than we think. So anyone can guess our password very easily. So we need to add extra layer of security called two-factor authentication into our online account like Gmail. So how it works? So we use our email and a password and a unique code that is generated on our mobile app or we can receive a message via text message or via voice call. So we'll be seeing all these steps one by one. So stay tuned and watch till the end of the video. To get our video, make sure you subscribe and press the bell icon. So first login into your Gmail. Then go for manage your Google account. Here, go to security and here you can find option of signing into the Google account. So we have a two step verification here. But before proceeding, you need to take care of ways we can verify it's you. It's very important. So you should have your mobile phone added and if you have another email account, you can add your another email account to Google account. So this will be another option if something goes wrong with your mobile phone number. So at first we are going to add our mobile number. So Google will ask you for a re-verification. So you have to provide your password. Now we have an ad recovery phone here. So click now I'm going to provide a phone number here. When pressing next, it will ask to send a code onto your mobile phone. So get code. So we get a code something like this. So verify. The number has been added and we have an edit option and a delete option now go back and now we can add our recovery email again it asks to verify our password so add recovery email so i need to provide other mail that i use So you see the recovery email has been added. Now going to enable a two step verification. So here we see a message. So protect your account with two step verification would add a extra layer of security and the keep the bad guys out. So get it started. If you have used your email on your mobile phone, it will be listed here. If it is not, you will be having a option to add your mobile device. So get it started. It will ask your mobile again to send a text message or a phone call. So you could be having a other option, a Google prompt, if you have already signed into your mobile phone. So we are going through a text message step so next the code will be available on your mobile phone so punch this number next and it works it is asking to turn on your test step verification so turn on now 
so you can get a voice or text message on a verified number so if we are tired of typing a text code or a blessing to our voice so we can add a google prompt so to add a google prompt the account must be previously added to your mobile phone so it is asking how to add account onto your android phone so now we can see a google prompt is enabled on my mobile phone because i have already added an account into my mobile phone again it asks to verify our password At below, we can find more options. We have more steps to verify that we are the owner of the account. Here, we can find the backup codes. So, backup codes are very useful if you lost your mobile phone or while you are in travel. So, you cannot take your mobile phone somewhere that into another country. Or so, where there is no mobile phone availability, we can use our backup codes. We can see a setup simply and you will be having a backup codes so almost 10 backup codes will be available so you need to save it in a very secure and safe place so in case of emergency or lockout into your account you can use this backup code to get back to your account so you can download you can print and now the very useful step is to add it to our authenticator app so uh, when setting up so we can use uh, android or iphone it will ask for authenticator app we can go next and now we need some sort of software on our mobile phone to use this feature we are having uh, many application that could be used as a authenticator app so simply by searching in google play store and searching for authenticator will find a lot more application are available so i recommend going with twilio authy 2 factor authentication just install it now when you open this application it will ask to verify your phone number so sms you will receive a code through sms and done so now your authy account has been activated so now you can add two-step verification for several accounts in this single app so how to add so just press plus scan the code and as you can see that we can scan that barcode and if you need a password like a backup password you can have a backup password here Your mobile do not have a camera it is not working you can use a cannot scan it and you can get a code here that you can insert in your authenticator app on our mobile phone the code is being running this code actually is changed every 30 seconds so now next and it will ask for a six digit code that is generated on your mobile phone i am providing the code so you need to provide the code as fast as possible because it will change in 30 seconds and verify and then so now you can use your authenticator app as well you can have a voice or text message you can use a google prompt so i have more than one option to log in into my account so you can add a security key also like usb device that can be inserted into our usb port in our laptop or uh, desktop so that will be another way to log in into our system so these are added level of security so without having these codes so no one is able to log in into your account so the last tips will be due to like some problem your mobile is not working or it has been lost so you need to be careful so at that moment your authenticator app will be gone you will be not able to receive a voice or text message you will be not get a google prompt so these three things will be invalid so at those moment your backup codes will help to log in into your account and of course 
recovery email can also be used to get login into your account. So these are like okay safeguarding in case you lost your mobile phones. Thank you for watching. So if you are a new user, don't forget to subscribe to get the latest updates.